Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so happy to be with you tonight. I know this is not my normal night. Um, <laughs> I got really sick. Yeah. So I had to cancel last Sunday night. Hi, Sandy. Welcome. Carrie, welcome. So yeah, I'm not feeling 100% yet, but I sure am a lot better than I was. And I have so many things to share with you that I didn't get to share with you Sunday night from um, the on stage in Lansing, Michigan. So many gifts that were given to me and the loot that we came home from the on stage was really fun too. So I got all my work done today. Whew. I had so many deadlines happening right now that I came home yesterday, took a nap. <laughs> Thanks, Andrea. I miss you too. Came home, took a really long nap. I've been taking it easy and um, got myself to work because I have a whole, bu whole bunch of deadlines. Like uh, tomorrow is the paper pumpkin blog hop, so I had to get something made for that and make a video. And then on Friday, my Totally Techniques blog hop was due. So I had to make something for that and make a video. And I just finished that one. And then on Sunday, the Stamping Society blog hop is due. So I had to make something for that. And I'm like, oh my Lord. So I actually was doing a wardrobe change today. Is that kind of weird? So I don't want to wear the same clothes for like four videos in a row because I don't want you guys to think that I'm never changing my clothes. <laughs> so today I'm like wardrobe change. I walked out of the, my office. I'm like wardrobe change. And I ran upstairs and put on a different shirt so that I would look like I've been living in this shirt for five days. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Hi, Patty, Cynthia, welcome, Robin, thank you so much. Thanks, you guys, I'm glad you're catching me. And for those of you that don't catch me live tonight, that's fine. You can watch later. Um, I don't know that I'm actually gonna be making anything for you tonight. I just wanna show you all the fabulous gifts and loot that I got from the on stage in Lansing, Michigan um, two weekends ago, so. As you guys know, I went to my mom's house for the opening of the gun deer hunting season in Wisconsin, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> I like spending time with my mom. She's got this really awesome stand that my dad started for her, and then he died a few years ago, and all of my brothers and husband um, got together and they finished it. So we get to, it's like this giant tree house on stilts. And we have a um, gas heater in it and I get to hang out with my mom all day and we saw like gosh I can't remember if we saw like 22 deer on Saturday and then maybe 14 on Sunday so we saw a good amount of deer I think one of them was a buck but I got to see two leaps down a runway two leaps and then I never saw the deer again so he was he, they don't have much to worry about <laughs> So yeah, I just spent some time with my mom. And then on Sunday, I, I didn't feel good all weekend. Like I had started kind of getting sick a few days before that. I think we came home from Lansing with whatever this crud was because my friend Dina was really sick too. And um, on I, so I went out hunting Saturday, didn't feel that great. Sunday went out hunting and I slept most of the morning on and off in the tree stand with my mom. And she finally said, why don't you just, honey, why don't you go back to the house so you can get some good sleep? Have some chicken noodle soup, which she made, mm, and I've been eating it ever since because I brought some home. And why don't you get some good sleep? So at about noon, I did go back to the house and crash. And um, is it allowed to eat deer? Yes, we eat deer. Yep, <laughs> we definitely do. So um, anyways, then I was kind of down and out after that, and I really felt crummy Sunday, Monday, Yesterday still didn't feel very good. So, um, yeah. I decided to go live tonight, Peggy, so I can show you all the gifts that I got. I've got some really pretty homemade stuff to show everybody. And um, I think I'll be reproducing some of it in the next few upcoming Facebook Lives just so that 
you can see how to make it because it's pretty cool. But anyways, I wanted to let you guys know we have new mini catalogs coming out. Um, we have a new occasions mini catalog that comes out. It starts for demonstrators on December 3rd. So if you like to be in the know early and order early, you can join my team as a discount shopper and you will be able to order out of the Occasions mini catalog and pre-earn celebration items. So I already have those um, publications and can I just say, oh my gosh, they're so amazing. You are going to love them. Like Stampin' Up! has knocked it out of the park. Um, so many great things. My pre-order is here. I haven't opened the box yet because like I said, I had so many deadlines that I had to meet um, while I was home since yesterday that I haven't had time. There's been no goofing around here in Menasha, Wisconsin. <laughs> I did have to go get my nails done though because they were all getting too long and breaking. So this is my new color. It's kind of like pretty peacock. I don't know if I really like it, but that's my favorite finger with the glitter on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be coughing a little bit. I don't know what I had. I don't think it was really a cold. Um, but can I just say that Zycam, the stuff you snort up your nose, amazing. Like, a few minutes ago, I could not breathe it all through my nose. And now I can. Snort that stuff and bam, it really clears you out fast. So, and I've been taking ibuprofen and... Um, also, the little Zycam packs of extra vitamin C, it's like a, a, you know, those little straw things that have Kool-Aid in them. What are those called? Um, pixie sticks. It's like pixie stink sticks. So it's vitamin C, like, and you just sprinkle it on your tongue and it tastes pretty good. So anyways, um, yeah, and I just missed a question. Let me see if I can bring it up here. I'm going to get you guys on my screen so that I can see what's going on. And if and I don't want to forget to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. My mom is cooking dinner and I'll be there to help her. I don't know how much help I really am, but she tells me to do stuff and I do it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. Um, where is, there we go. So let me pop that up big. There we go, now I can see your questions. Um, my mom makes a full-blown turkey with homemade stuffing and homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. And um, that little packet that comes with your turkey when you buy it from the store, throw that thing away. Nobody knows what it is. It's disgusting. Make your own gravy. It's so simple. The juice from the pan when you cook the turkey, you just mix some flour and water together and bring it to a boil and pour it in there and stir it and you have the most amazing gravy. That chalky garbage that's in that packet that's stuffed into your turkey, ew, don't eat it. And then, as long as I'm bragging, um, my mom makes homemade green bean casserole, like homemade. She makes her own white sauce where she sautés the mushrooms and then makes the white sauce. and. And they're just so wonderful. Stacy agrees with me. That packet is disgusting. I don't know what's in there. Ew. Gravy's really simple to make. And it's loaded with sodium, Kay said. See, it's not good for you. So, anyways, I'm really looking forward to Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know who's going to be showing up. Um, thanks, Diana. She says, my hair looks pretty today. Thank you. I know that I'm going to go pick Haley up when we're done with this tonight this Facebook Live, and she's gonna ride with me, so that's good, she doesn't have to drive by herself. So, Julie says she's never seen a turkey packet in her, or a gravy packet in her turkey. Yeah, it usually comes with it, like Butterballs have them. There's like a packet that has gravy in it, and eh, it's so gross. I'm making Lisa hungry. So anyways, that's what's on my agenda for Thanksgiving. What do you guys have going on for Thanksgiving? Are you traveling? Where are you going? Um, my mom lives a couple hours from here, so that's where I'm headed. I don't know if my sister and her kids are coming, but her son is there, so I've been hunting with him for the last um, few days, so that's been kind of fun. And what else? I don't know what else I can tell you. I am on the mend, so. Um, 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, I know, I was talking about the new catalogs before I got off on the turkey thing. <laughs> Squirrel! Um, new catalogs are coming out. Now, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would be happy to send you these new catalogs. Anybody who has ordered from me, as long as you've placed um, at least $50 in orders over the last six months, you will automatically get a catalog from me. And I say that because when I go into my customer database, I do, I do a sorting search. So I sort everybody for the last six months. So I don't know, I probably go from um, January, so it's actually longer than six months, but January down to current, so it's almost a year probably. And then I put in a $50 total there. So if you spent more than $50 with me in the last many months, you're automatically going to be on my list to get those catalogs. And um, I like to let people know that I have to pay for those. So if you have ordered from me but you're a demonstrator, if you could just pop me an email and let me know and I will not put you on my list because you get one from Stampin' Up, right? And then the other thing that's kind of nice to know is <laughs> every once in a while I have people who ask me for the catalogs and I'm always happy to send them out. But to get the big catalog, it costs me $7.35 just in postage. And then I like to check back with people and make sure that they got them. And um, I had a lady recently who I said, did you get your catalog? She's like, yeah. And I ordered through a local demonstrator. And while that's fine, I spent $7.35 on your postage. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, okay? Um, Cindy says she's staying home with her hunky husband who had surgery a week ago. Oh, well, happy healing to him. And Mary Olson is eating with her high school girlfriends, an entire crew of fun with triplets and grandchildren. That sounds like a blast. Sounds like a house full. <laughs> that should be fun. But anyways, if you have never placed an order with me and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, again, I'd be happy to mail you the new catalogs. Pop me an email. My email address is kelly at a stamp above dot com. And um, I'd be happy to mail those out for you. So Lois is going 13 miles north in Nebraska to be with her daughter and son-in-law, and I'm assuming their kids. My screen is a little limited there. Good for you, Lois. I hope everybody has safe travels. So here in Wisconsin, we got this huge snowstorm. It didn't hit us. We just got rain, and it snowed here a little bit today, but it didn't stick around. Um, we got lots of rain, and the wind is just fierce outside, so... Um, yeah, I'm hoping we don't have any problems heading north tonight. We don't actually go north. I call it my up north, but I'm headed due west. So I know my mom got, I think she said six or eight inches of snow. They got a ton of very heavy, wet snow. I saw pictures and it's beautiful. So looking forward to that. Um, for those of you that are just popping on here, I wanted to let you know that I'm probably not going to be stamping anything tonight. But I did want to share with you that I am better and I have a whole bunch of goodies that people gave to me as gifts or that I brought home from the on stage in Lansing, Michigan a couple weeks ago, which I planned on sharing with you Sunday night before I got sick. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this big bin. I am going to turn my camera around so that you can, I can show you this stuff up close and personal and uh, show you some of these goodies because they are amazing. So hang tight with me. I'm going to flip the camera around. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. Hopefully we don't have any problems. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I'm still dealing with this whatever I have, so bear with me in the coughing. I hope it doesn't get annoying. And my cords are tangled up, so hang on. Here we go. Okay, I think we're good. And I'm just going to start with what's... I drug all this stuff up to my mom's house with me, you guys, so I could share it with you. And I drug it all back home because I didn't... I wasn't live Sunday. So this is from Linda Bunce. Linda is one of my discount shoppers from Arizona. And she sent me this whole box of goodies. So she went to the um, Las Vegas on stage. So she sent me her swap cards. Look at how cute this is. Let me get this out of the envelope so you can see it a little bit better. 
Look at that. She used the black foil paper and gold foil, our square scallops, and made this adorable Santa card. Oops, does this, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a belly band. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I think there's a magnet in there. Yep, to keep it closed. So that is super, super sweet, Linda. She sent me this whole box of goodies. Look at this. I have a new stocking, and isn't this beautiful? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. That's so soft, too. Very, very pretty. And then, here's a little turkey. Ooh, and it's got candy in it. Look at how cute this is. I think this was one of her swaps. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? This is a great way to share your craft and give a gift at the same time. And these are my favorite ones. These copper colored ones. I can't remember what the flavor is. I think they're toffee. But these are Hershey Nuggets. Super cute. And we have one more here. Hang on a second. And now it's harder for me to see your guys' comments. Just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. But my, I'm. it's hard to do all this at once. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Linda, this is just adorable. Look at that little tiny tag on there. <gasps> ah! Let me do that again. Ready? That is so cute. And it's got Hershey's Kisses in it. So this is mounted, I don't know if you can see it, on a little piece of acetate. And you just fold it down and close it. And then when you open it, it pops right up like that. Isn't that precious? Oh my gosh. I love this. What a cute little gift. Okay, let me set this stuff aside. I'm going to put this back in the box so I can remember who it came from. My gosh, that is just adorable. And this is so pretty. Very, very pretty. Thank you so much, Linda. That is just the sweetest. And then I've got Lois Billadoo. I, I hope I said that right. Now, Lois sent me this. Look at all this. These are some really cute embellishments that she found at, I think she said Hobby Lobby, and sent to me in this really pretty little pocket card. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And then look at this. As soon as I saw this, this is like a little sew. It's not like. It is a little sewing kit. And what a cute little pocket she put that in. I am going to put this right in my suitcase because I don't have one. And I've oftentimes thought, I need to get a sewing kit to put in my suitcase. So that's going right in my suitcase for when I travel. Put these back in here. And then look at this. I absolutely love this scarf. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. She crocheted this. I love the colors. I love that stitch. I'm a crocheter too. And she gave me the um, swatch so I know how to wash it. That's got the washing instructions on it. There's more. She gave me some of these singles to go. These are strawberry daiquiri singles to go from Margaritaville. How cute is that? And then this is a planner. Look at this. How sweet is she? And I am definitely going to use this. I'm going to look at that. It's got little stickers with it. I'm going to keep this right in my office because I actually don't have anything like this. So, Lois, you're the bomb. Thank you so much. I am not going to put this stuff back in this box because I need to wear this. It's going right around my neck. And I love it. Thank you so very much. Super, super sweet, right? She sent me a whole letter. And um, it's a happy Thanksgiving. And a thank you for sharing. And uh, she's so thankful to have me as her demonstrator. How sweet is that? There was more. But, um, yeah, very cool. Okay, did I miss any questions? Hang on just a second. 
Okay, there we go. I know, isn't this gorgeous? I love it. So yeah, I've got it on to keep me warm. Okay, what else do I have here? Here's some more mail. This is from Becky Miltenberger. Hang on a second. And, oh, this is the cutie patootie. Look at this. This is a little pocket. It's got a beautiful card in it. And it says, thank you for all your fun and inspirational videos every week. And congratulations on my big accomplishments. How sweet is she? And this is topping and a mug brownie mix. How cute is that? So these are the kind of things that I want to share with you. We'll make one of these because I had um, a similar idea. I just got some Door County coffee. And this is always a huge hit at Christmas. I love to make up little packets like this, you guys. So I am going to share Becky's idea in um, probably a Christmas theme. So I'll show you how to make one of these. But what a sweet gift idea. And it, you know, it's not that it costs a lot of money to put together something, you know, like this, but it's the thought that counts, right? Okay. That was from Becky. Thank you so much, Becky. You are the sweetest. Keep that right over there. And then, oh, here's another gift that I received in the mail. Look at how pretty this is. And again, it's just a little pouch. It's all decorated up with hearts of love. This came from, you guys know that I do um, business training with Rhonda Wade, and Rhonda sent this little dish because I'm in one of her, um, they call it the Elite Mastermind Group. And this is gonna be a wonderful little dish that I can throw my earrings and my rings in that I'm gonna keep on my dressing room table. But look at how cute that is. Yeah, so I'll show you guys how to make something like this too because this is a perfect little holder for something like that. Okay, next. Oh, and here's the card. Oops, here's the card that came with it. Look at that. Isn't that just special? I just feel so special. And this is our actually our Halloween paper. So yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rhonda. Okay, what else do I have in my little box of goodies here? I got a whole bunch of mail. Now, if you sent me something um, this week, I have not opened that mail yet, and I'm gonna save that for Facebook Live Sunday night because I do plan on being back Sunday night and being live, but I had to share this. This is from Connie Billerman. Look at this card. Is that a Thanksgiving card or what? Like, how cute is that? This is from the Day of Thanks stamp set. I just thought this was amazing. Look at that. She's got a nice note in here. Connie, this card is the bomb. So cool. And then I received this adorable Christmas card from Sharon Jones. How cute is that? I love that paper. Look at how sweet that is. This is some of my favorite Christmas paper. I love the little bow she put up there. And then Cindy Sessions sent me this. How beautiful is this? I love that rose. And she just wanted to thank me for picking her name for the most wonderful time stamp set. And yay, you are very, very welcome, Cindy. And then I received a card from Marilyn Homesec. And look at how cute that is. She made this card. And um, she said she can't find her stamp. <laughs> this is from Patty. She calls herself Patty. Thank you so much. How cute is that? I love the glitter on there. And I always love the little peppermint candies. And here we have Karen Nevin. Look at how pretty this is. This has some wood elements on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful Thanksgiving card. And another gorgeous card. This one's got a foil lining in it. This is from... Wendy, I think. Yep, Wendy Morris. Look at how cute this is. Yeah, I love that. That is just beautiful. Handmade by Wendy. Very, very pretty. And a nice little note in there. Thank you, Wendy. 
And then we have a card from Debbie Foster. Look at this. How beautiful is that? I love that Cup of Christmas stamp set. That's actually all of my projects were designed around this stamp set for my Facebook Live last Sunday. And I'm going to save those for next Sunday, for this coming Sunday, so I can show them all to you. So, oh, and Debbie is one of, um, she's one of my team members, but she received this bundle from me for um, a drawing for achieving a bronze elite title. So yay, Debbie, you're rocking it. You're rocking the stamp set. Okay. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Do, 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 do. Those I can't show you. I can't show you those and all of these. Okay, the rest of those are project based. Hang on, I hope nothing falls over. Because I have a whole other big bag to share. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go through this. This is the box that we received from Stampin' Up. And it had our um, necklace in it. I got a gold necklace that comes with a cleaning cloth. A gold Stampin' Up necklace that came in this box from Stampin' Up. And that was for being um, in the top 100 globally. So I was recognized for that. Then my friend Lori Krause made these earrings. These are the Copper Stars from the Brightly Gleaming Bundle. And these are the Gold Glitter Dots from the Christmas Time is Here Suite. And she made them into earrings. And isn't she always does that with our embellishments and gives them as gifts. So, yeah, Lori is wonderful, right? And then this is my pin that I got for earning Maui. So that's cool. I will be going to Maui. I'm taking my stepdaughter Stephanie with me in July. Heading to Hawaii. And then one of my um, team members, Christine Bertram, she chartered a bus that started at Green Bay and went all the way down through, I think, the Chicago area around to Lansing, Michigan, picking up people along the way, stamping up demonstrators that wanted to go to the on stage. So Christine had a whole bunch of gifts that she made. And this is one of those items that she made for all the people that were on the bus ride. And look at this. How cool is this? Now, I'm pretty sure this backing comes off of here. This is a magnet. Maybe it doesn't come off. This is a magnet that has the Stampin' Up! statement of the heart to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference. So I'm pretty sure that her boyfriend, I think, had a hand in making these for everyone. So how sweet was that? Yeah, pretty cool. And then... Here's another little gift that I received. Um, and Oh, this was from Barb Collins. And look at, oh, I'm going to eat that. I love those. Oh, and I love these too. But it's got some hand cream in it. I think that's hand cream, yeah. And then some candies. Really sweet little box here. Very cool. And then I think this was from Nancy Stormer. Look at how cute this is. This little cute little bag. And it's kind of like a little convention kit. It's got a candy spoon in it, some tissues, a packet of cocoa, little thing of hand cream, and Carmex, which you know is my favorite. I've got Carmex everywhere. I actually have a tube of it, let's see, right here in my pocket. I'm kind of a Carmex freak. And I also have two tubes over there in my stamp and storage with my ink pads. <laughs> so, yeah. So, here's a cute little goodie bag. You can fit a ton of little things in here, right? So, it's pretty neat. All these things fit in there. Then, I received this. Look at how beautiful this box is. This is from Sarah Simon. I had a little water issue in my bag. This is from Sarah Simon. And this is a belly band. This is just a really great idea to use your mad stamping skills. Hang on a second. To make these types of gifts. And Sarah gave me a candle. Mahogany teakwood. And she made a box so it fits perfectly in there. And then that pretty little belly band that goes right around there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This is what we can do with our paper crafts. 
Then I have this, which is amazing. Yeah, this is from Lisa Nealon. She's also on my team. And this was her 3D, I believe her 3D swap with some gum in it. And just a cute way to decorate the gum. Now, what did Peggy just say here? I noticed most of the cards are not signed. Do people just send you their creations for inspiration? Oh, Peggy, that's a great question. Um, people usually put a note in the cards so that I can reuse the cards. And I like to do that also. Put a note in the cards so that whoever I give it to can reuse it and kind of pay it forward. So that's why a lot of them aren't signed. Here's another great little um, 3D swap item. It's got some post-it notes in it. Super easy to make, but just cool, right? And who doesn't need post-it notes? Here's another one, and this has our Statement of the Heart stamped right on the front of it. And this was from Dawn, and it's a notebook. I love that because I really use these. I have little notes all over the place. Do you guys do that where you have notes everywhere? Yeah. And um, Joanne just said, wow, you are a, you are lucky. So much talent in my group. Yes, I am. And I do know that. Check this little cutie patootie out. This is our mini keepsake box die that's from the holiday mini catalog. Lisa made this and it's got some candy in it. Oops, I'm not, I'm not pulling it apart. But it's a little scarecrow. And isn't that just adorable? Yeah, super cute. I'll get that candy out. Don't worry. <laughs> Here is, whoops, I got one that's stuck together. Hang on. Here is another cute little box. And this also, oh, oh, this was, I think, from Stampin' Up. Hang on. Let's see what's in here. This is a little like zipper pull or a scissor charm and it has the Stampin' Up. No, it doesn't have Stampin' Up on it. It has Monel. I think this is from Stampin' Up. I'm pretty sure this was at our table. Isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is. Yeah, I'm going to leave that out so I don't forget about it. Okay, then um, another one. This was, I think, from Christine. Also, she was the leader of the charter bus, so everybody got one of these. And then look at this. This is super cute. This is, has a little Lindor truffle in it. And um, Carrie Schumacher made these, and she used the scallop circle punch. And then the little truffle just fits right in there. She punched that out with the scallop also. So super cute thing. You could make these for your coworkers and set them on your desk. I could see these for, like, Valentine's Day. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. Okay, let's see what else do I have. I have a little bag of candy. These are Buckeye peanut butters. And again, just a really sweet idea. Die cut that leaf just for you. Um, here comes another cute little tag. Look at these Hershey's Kisses that look like um, Santa hats. And a beautiful tag on here. And let's see. Here comes a whole gift bag out. My office is going to be a disaster again because when I pull all this stuff out. I got these from Shelly. I think Shelly's watching tonight. Shelly always gives socks and I love these. Little candle in here. This is a root brood honey. Mm, I can almost smell it. Here's those pixie sticks. Like I was telling you, I was taking medicine before. So there's some candy and a sucker in here. What a cute little idea. Let me get these back in here without smashing anything. Thank you, Shelly. And then this one is from Julie Gillen. Look at that. This is a hand sanitizer. Pumpkin Harvest. Isn't that cute? Yeah, you get these, I think, at Bath and Body. Uh, it says Simple Pleasures. But yeah, you can make, make up little containers to hold things like this. These are cute. Stampin' Up! gave us some really pretty pens, and we always like that. This came in our um, backpack, which reminds me. I can show you that, too. Look at how pretty these pens are. I love stuff like this. I'm going to leave those out, too. And then this was for attending center stage. Now, when you get to a title of, I think it's Silver Elite and above, 
you get to go to an event called Center Stage, which is the Friday night before the Saturday on stage. And everybody that attended the Center Stage dinner got this. And this is like a credit card wallet, or you could use it to put your business cards in. But isn't that pretty? It's a hard case. Hang on, I gotta take the scarf off because I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> it's definitely warm. Here's another really cute little item. Hang on, I kind of squished it a little bit here. Here we go. This is a sour cream container, and isn't that just sweet? There was some candy in here. I'm pretty sure I ate it. And who made this? Um, Mary! Yay! So there we go. And then, what's in here? Oh, this was from Shelly and Sarah. Shelly is the owner of Stampin' Up. Sarah is running Stampin' Up. That's her daughter. So I got a little card and a gift from them. Let me get this open and see. Oh, these are all my pins, you guys. Let me move some of the stuff out of the way here. There we go. I couldn't get that open. So, when you are um, at these events, we get all these pins. Here's our congratulations card. And this is for ranking. This was for um, country overall. I was number 22. This one is for leadership. I was number 5. This one is for Global 100. I was number 29. And this last one is recruiting. I was number two recruiter for the United States. So holy cow, right? I'm going to leave those out too. I have a place where I keep all of these. But what a cute little card to just attach to a burlap bag like this, right? Just a neat little way to give a gift. And then, yep, there's more. Don't worry. <laughs> I got this super cute. Look at how cute this is. This little bag, little gift bag, and this adorable tag. This is our little truck, pickup truck stamp set. This is from Debbie Vischer. Debbie is one of my followers, and she is from Michigan. So I have this beautiful Michigan mug and it's filled with Michigan mints, and if you can tell, I really liked the green ones. Yeah, so I shared these with everyone at our table while we were there, but isn't this just the sweetest? Thank you so much, Debbie. It was so nice to meet you also. I got to meet so many people that watched me on Facebook Live, and it's just so nice to be able to put a face with a name, right? Look at this. This is gorgeous. These are our um, snow domes. So these are in the mini catalog. And then this is a Christmas ornament. I got this from Gloria Helmbrecht. She is my second upline. Isn't that pretty? The bears in there out of our um, shimmer papers. Here's another, just a really cool idea. This is a candy bar inside of here. I think it may be a Hershey candy bar, I'm not sure. But when I open it and eat it, I will make sure I let you guys know. Because <laughs> you know that's going to happen. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, oh, I have to tell you a funny story about this card. So at our hotel, there was a shoebox swap going on Saturday night after on stage. And I don't know how this happened, but I was showing these things to my team the other day. Last week when I did my Facebook Live, I do a question and an answer for my um, team members every Tuesday. And I showed this card like somebody gave it to me, but they actually didn't. Somehow, I must have picked this up off a table for the shoebox swap. And um, it belonged to Kathy Miller, and she thought somebody took the card by accident, and then they didn't have a card to know what they were supposed to make. So when she was watching my Q&A for my team Facebook Live, she's like, oh my gosh, you have to call me when you're done. This is her card, and I don't know how I got it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, funny how those things work out. Then, this came from Karen Tashi. I think that's Toki. And look at it's a Christmas ornament. She put some of the puff paint on here with that little stamp, that little snowman on a piece of wood. And then you can hang it on your tree. And Karen is so fun because 
I adore homemade Christmas ornaments and I do put them on my tree every year and every year I will think of you because you made this for me when I decorate my Christmas tree. And then, let's see. Oh, here's some, I, this is this, oh, I think this is from Jenny. Yep, Jenny Miller. I met Jenny Miller at the on stage, so that was really nice because Jenny watches me every week on Facebook Live. Look at her pretty card that she gave to me. Yeah, very cool. This was one of the layout challenges that I did a while back. Oh, and then I have to show you this because this is really cool. This is by one of my team members, Joellen Key, and she used a die to make these bookmarks. So they're magnetic bookmarks for your catalog, and you put them right on the pages. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? All of these are magnetic. And what a great idea. So if you know somebody who likes to read, this is a really cool gift idea for them, right? I was just amazed by that. And then this came, I think, from Christine also. She organized the bus. And this is a new catalog survival kit. And it's got a whole little poem thing in here. All the little items to survive the new catalog. Yeah, super cute. Whoops, hang on, my bag's falling. Whoops, 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 whoops. Get back up here. It's a little top heavy now. Okay. Then, let me see. Oh, I got a couple more swap cards here, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Who made this? I don't know. There's no name on it, but I love, love, love this. Here's another one. Isn't that just so, so pretty? And this was from Jenny Miller also. And then I got this one from Jessica Schnorr. She's on my team. Very talented. This one is also from Jenny Miller. Look at how cute that is. And then we got these on-stage trading pins from Stampin' Up. And these are just great to put on our aprons or our bags or whatever. Speaking of which, hang on. I'll grab my backpack. It's kind of hanging on my door over here. Let me see if I can grab it without destroying a bunch of stuff. This, is there even any room in here? Oh, let me bring some light back in. This was the backpack that we got at on stage, and this is um, the Poppy Designer Series paper that's coming out in the Occasions Mini Catalog. I love that this has the Stampin' Up! logo. It's got a metal logo on it. This is a beautiful, beautiful backpack. I'm so excited to be able to use this, but I love that it's black because if it's not black, they get dirty, right, when you use them? Here, let me toss that over there on the floor. Oh, I've got another. Here comes, oh, is this? Oh, this is the swap card that Kathy, I picked up off the table. That other one wasn't a swap card. Sorry, somebody actually gave that to me. Let me see who it was. Betty, Sh Beth Schuster. Sorry, Beth. This is Kathy's shoebox swap card that I picked up by accident. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. Okay, and let's see what else I got here. Oh, here's another little gift. Look at this. How cute is this? Yeah, this was from Rhonda Wade. It's got some post-it notes in it and some candy. Isn't that just sweet? You can make these. Make these for your kids, for your grandkids to take to school and give out as gifts. Secret Santa's at work. It's nothing more than a piece of cardstock folded over with designer series paper and um, some punches. Our little cello gusseted bags. We sell these. These are in the big catalog. Oh, and Lori says she's taking her backpack on the cruise. That's a great idea. Okay, now I'm going to show you the make and takes that we got to make with brand new product. Look at these cute little, cute little envelopes and cards. Look at how cute these are. You can buy these as a pack. And we stamped on these, right? But the envelopes already come. Hang on, let me get this out already come decorated like this with the scallop top on it. Isn't that cute? This is what's coming up in the Occasions Mini Catalog, you guys. These are just adorable. Okay, so those were, that was a make and take. Hang on, my crown is falling. We can't have a falling crown. <laughs> and then this one. This is a gorgeous, sweet 
beautiful designer series paper. Look at that new ribbon, a new punch. Yeah. I know. It's all so exciting. Here's a little sampling of the poppy paper. It is also delicious. Last but not least, this was our last make and take. We've got a new punch and a tulip stamp set. And isn't that just pretty? Yeah. Okay, what else do I have in here? Um, oh, look at this. We have a new golf suite coming. And this is a whole pack of designer series papers, so that was exciting. And then, oh, here's the tulip stamp set that's coming. Yeah, now you guys can get your hands on this if you are not already a demonstrator. We get to pre-order on December 3rd. Customers get to order in January, but if you order the discount shopper kit, you can also order items from the Occasions Mini Catalog and pre-earned celebration items early. <gasps> Parisian Beauty! Yeah, this is super, super gorgeous. And here comes another one of these types of stamp sets. I love all these elements to put together. My Meadow. Oh, and I actually have two tulip sets because we got one in our bag and then we used one for the make and take. So when you're at the make and take table, you get to, when we're all done with make and take, Stampin' Up! lets everybody around the table take a turn and take something out of the middle. A punch, an ink pad, a stamp set, whatever. And I chose this, so I have two of them. This one is used. This one I will probably be giving away in a drawing. Yay, you! And last but not least, I have this. This is the dress to impress, and that's where those these little... Oops, sorry. These little cards, these were all stamped with this stamp set. Isn't that cute? There's a whole suite of products with designer series paper that go with this, too. And then, what else do I have in here? Oh, I got a pin. I was on the Great Lakes Demonstrator Council, so that was cool. I was identified as being a member of the council. And then I got this. This was probably in one of those little boxes. Delicious. And I think that's it, you guys. What time is it? It is 4.30. How long have I been on here? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I think I am going to call it a night because I have to get my stuff packed up. I'm going to flip my phone around again. Hang on. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. I have to get my stuff packed up and go pick up my child. See, I told you my crown was falling off. I um, have to go pick up Haley so that we can head up north. And yeah, I hope there's not too much traffic. So thank you guys for popping in. And um, I will be live on Sunday unless we have like some huge snowstorm or something where I can't get home. But otherwise, I will be live. I'm going to be sharing a cup of Christmas projects with you. I might have a little rework to do because the paper that I was using is no longer available. I know, I'm so sad. Brightly gleaming paper is gone. But, you know, hey, I'm glad Stampin' Up! sold out of it, right? Because it was fabulous. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll be giving some of that away. I'll also be awarding prizes from the last time I was live, so I'll do that on Sunday night. And if you guys need anything, you know where to find me. I appreciate all your orders that are um, coming in. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I hope that your family and friends realize how very lucky they are to have you in their lives. How about that? Yeah. And I, as always, am very, very grateful for each and every one of you because... I couldn't be doing this without you, right? Yeah. So, safe travels to everybody. Marilyn, thank you. Marilyn says safe, safe travels for you and yours. Did I miss any questions that you guys might have had? I see Jenny Miller just popped on by in a comment. Jenny, thank you so much for the beautiful cards. It was so nice to meet you. I got to meet so many people in Lansing, and that is the best part about going to Stamping Up! events. Um, speaking of Stamping Up! events... We have a bunch of new stuff happening this next year. We've got 
um, on stage, backstage, uh, ugh, I can't remember the other one, Salt Lake City, we're going to have our um, on stage live in Salt Lake City in November. We were, are going to have very local get togethers in I believe April. And then in August, we have what's new called Backstage, and that's for leaders, and we'll be in New Orleans. So I love traveling, and I love traveling and meeting up with all my Stampin' Up! friends that I have met from all over the world. Yeah, so it's really fun. If anybody's interested in joining my team as a discount shopper, or if you want to build a business out of it, I'm here to support you in any way that you choose. I'd love to have you on my team. We have a lot of fun. Being on Kelly's team is pretty cool. Um, what is Backstage, Megan says. Backstage is going to be the event in New Orleans in August. And it is for certain titles and above. It is a business leaders conference. Like we used to have leadership in January. And then Stampin' Up! did You know, they discontinued that. Well, now we're going to have Backstage for leaders in August in New Orleans. And I'm really excited because I've never been to New Orleans. I'm excited to go there. I love to go new places. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much, Elaine. Safe travels for everyone. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna sign off now so I can go eat some of that chicken noodle soup that my mom sent me home with because it is delicious and touch base with my daughter and see if she's packed and ready to head over to grandma's house. All right, you guys, I will be back 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, December 1st. How can it be December already? Ah! Yeah, December 1st. Okay, bye-bye.